like through the water? They have like, they can essentially say polarized lights. You ever wearing like polarized sunglasses before? Yeah. It help you like see through that glare and talk the water. So that's so they can see. So cool. Yeah, they have excellent vision. Uh, rivals that of pop. And yeah, if you guys saw some birds earlier that looked almost like golden eagles or kind of mottled feathering. They're actually golden eagles. They're actually the juvenile bald eagles. So oh. golden eagles and bald eagles don't actually cohabitate in the same areas. They actually live in different places, but with the, their juveniles, they have that model feathering to help camouflage and protect themselves. They don't actually get that white head and white tail until they're about four or five years old. So you just see any big, dark, or model birds flying around here. Those are kind of the adolescent bald eagles. So live in the nest for the first few months. Mom and dad kick them out and had to kind of fend wow. themselves for a little while. So right there, yeah, there's a the full grown adult just hanging out. Uh, they're huge birds, so they're about six to seven feet wingspan, so incredibly large birds, 5,000 feathers on one bird. That's a lot of feathers. Oh, yeah. So, really, really good birds, so, yeah, take it out. We're going to head over that way in just a second, but I'm waiting for everyone to catch up, and I have a couple more sea stars for you guys, so, right here. These ones are leather stars, so you probably see a lot of these around here. Another one of the most common species out here. Of course, they indexate that smooth, leather-like skin, kind of like wet leather. But right here, <coughs> Ooh, there's some hills up there. But right here uh, this right here, is a blood star. So, of course, they indexate that uh, kind of blood orange, blood red color. Uh, those blood stars are a little bit of a deeper water species. They actually use that reddish orange coloration as camouflage, believe it or not. So it's kind of counterintuitive. So a really bright color as camouflage, but the deeper you go down the water, the less sunlight there is. Particularly, there's less red light. Red light is the first color to kind of disappear as you go deeper down. And so a lot of fish are also colorblind to the color red. So all in all, trying to find those at depth is pretty difficult, but they're kind of a great ground and spread right and blend right in with the rock. And many fish can't even see that color. So allows them to camouflage down at the bottom. So yeah, I got a little bit of weight coming through a little bit. But you guys can go ahead and pass around those letter stars, pass around those blood stars. <laughs> Get a good look at them. And then we're going to be cruising around the outside of this rock here. So if you want to stay on the surface, there's great stuff you see in the shallows. If you have a weight belt, there's an awesome kind of ledge to free dive off of here. And of course that bald eagle's out there too, hopefully you get a little bit closer to it. So you guys can keep on cruising around. Uh, just pass the sea stars back to you and you're done. Cool. Alright guys, you're going to follow me once you're done looking at the sea stars. We're going to go out and around the rock. If you want to stay showered, you guys can go to the rock. Yeah, I'm probably going to go around this way. It's a little bit easier.
If anyone is ready to get out, you can come over to me and I'll help you get your fins off. Other than that, explore in this area on your own. Do not go over to where the fishermen are. Do not go on the other side of the rock. But right here is a perfect spot. <sighs>